Whatever it takes. This is one of the dumbest guys I've ever seen. All right. You're listening to the evening drive there in Alos. We're going into 45 minutes uninterrupted mead skeleton. So sit back, relax, keep those hands in the wheel. Song here, and this is one of my earlier tunes I did a number of years ago. It's called Nobody Wants Me. Hope you like it. I got the need for mead. <laughs> Two o'clock and I'm all alone. Guess I should really? go back home. Cause nobody wants me. Nobody needs me. Nobody dares to talk to me. This is the Tom song, man. Nobody says it never does anything me. instrumentally other than the chords. Nobody dares to know me. Nobody wants to hang out with me. The incredibly racist Southern Belle. He loves Elton John. He's a good musician. He took some lessons. It's just not very interesting. It's not tasteful. Fucking picnic is this at, man? Does it say in the description? Nope. Was it him where the first song we saw of him was him playing to no one outside? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was four more years of Donald Trump, wasn't it? It might have been him. But anyway, I don't think there's anyone here. Great voice. All these songs are sold. Sol, Jesus. All these songs are sold gold hits. Not a fan of the politics, but wow, I love listening to these songs. Just listen to Elton John. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, dude. Had these birds for a long time, actually. I've been. You uh, have Hmm. Mead? I don't know what's going on here, brother. Not sure why you uploaded this bit. No, I think Hitler spurred about the JQ pretty early. He talked about it in Mein Kampf. This is unbelievably sad, man. Uh, this yeah, looks like it's a YouTube stream based on his him. chat. He's just using Streamlabs. But it's got like the little wrench icon for, for mods or whatever. You upload a fucking two minute video of you recording your screen like Robozoid because you gave Baked Alaska $15 and he shouted you out. God. It's insanely uh, lame. Skeleton with another vlog chat for you. A Patriot vlog. Oh, Patriot uh, vlog. Patriot. Okay, so folks, it's coming down to the wire. Are you a Patriot or are you a globalist? Globalist. If you support Next question. Joe Biden, 
Uh, quite frankly, it's very clear that you're a globalist. Let's hear it for China, Trump, folks. You're a patriot, and let me explain. Multipolar uh, world. Our country is being divided in multiple ways. There's no, it's the cheese, I'm sorry. What do you think, Alex? Yeah. Do you get a lot of the cheese flavor? Um. Yeah. Cheesy and heat. So. It's very good. Um. Oh crap! Hold on. Yeah. Oh okay. I'm sorry. What? We gotta put our shirt back on. Back That's on. what we get when you're a playground. <laughs> Oh, you can't be within a certain distance of a playground? <laughs> that was quite the turn. Was that a bit? Did we get no. tricked? That group. Yeah. Do you get a lot of the cheese flavor in it? I do. Yeah. Cheesy and heat, so. It's very good. Um, oh, crap, hold on. Yeah? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can see there's a guy in the reflection of his glasses. Dude, Mike, we gotta put our shirt back on. Back That's on. what we get for parking near a playground doing this. And there was a cut. Look at that soy. Ah. Ah. Let's get a rumble. Seem kind of staged, but I know the cut kind of makes me think it's. I want to believe it's real. Whoa, there's a dog. Natural ways to whiten. Another banger alcohol. for you today. You know, going and getting a dentist appointment, but we're talking about at home. So I would say probably like a man soda or um the salt wash. So um, one of the ways you can naturally whiten your teeth at home is by going to the dentist. To yeah. The plaque off. Number. Four, which is eat whiter foods like rice, uh, chicken breast, mm. fish, like cod. Uh. Um, what's another one? Um, Are you for real? Tilapia. I mean, tilapia is really a, like almost like a pinkish fish, but. All of the tilapia famously pink all of when the cooked foods that have you know dyes in it like blueberries strawberries um things like things like that that have food coloring is obviously going on your teeth and yeah. strawberries don't have food color well how are they red then if there's no food coloring in them to the point that i made before which is drink more water uh, I like drinking water. Um, okay. I try to drink a gallon a day. Um, doesn't always work for me, but I try to do the best that I can as far as drinking a lot of <laughs> this water. This fucking it audio, goddammit. It's really good for your kidneys and liver. Uh, it's also good just to, you know, stay hydrated. I mean, you uh, can't argue that. Drink your water, folks. I try to drink, like I said, a gallon a day, but it so that whitens your teeth. Being, like two bottle full bottles full um <laughs> which isn't really good which i need to you have half um, you know drink more water oh he's saying um, he didn't have enough but yeah so I thought he had yeah. half gallon and bottles oh jesus and final thing well sometimes you run out of water is oil welcome back to deadly L. Put it back in, Outlaw. Come on, Outlaw. Let us have our fun. It's not like your intro isn't stupid now. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at this picture. Wow, Barry in here. He sounds like Mead when he says that. I, I, I need Uncle a, Barry, I, wow, Barry. I need a good picture for my intro. How about this one where I'm holding up some beef jerky? He has the worst. The, like the... What is this? He's eating a taco. Like, could... <laughs> could there be any worse picture than this? Is there a good picture of Outlaw is my question. Like, a front-facing camera picture that he took by accident would look better than that. 
Why does it say Outlaws Woo? Outlaws <laughs> Woo. Outlaws Woo. Until next time, join us. Outlaws next food adventure. Outlaws! Outlaws Generation Out. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, that's not like a word that got cut hey, off. So that's I, just you know, what it says. Kind of have any negative, uh, you know, thoughts all around, you know, don't tread on me and all that. And I got that in my room now, but, you know, I really oh, let's do go. videos in my room. I'm, really, I'm more do videos out here, so I got this at the Dollar Tree today. It's Hell like, yeah. Uh, that's way better. I'm happy for him. Kind of uh, poster or something. Fabric. Well, I'm happy. For, I'm yep. cheering for him. Let's yeah, go. Right. Good for him. Hello, Black Pill Brothers. This is a little video about a weird topic, but it's the truth topic. Is our only hope. Our love dolls are our only hope of ever having someone. And um, I've been looking at them online lately. And my ins my brother's bro cells on all the videos are titled like <laughs> ugly subhuman incel gives update on life and <laughs> thoughts ugly subhuman incel celebrates his 31st birthday brutal black pill vlog happy birthday to me yeah i don't think he's that ugly they look realistic come on bro oh, you look fine stop putting yourself down you introduce yourself to someone as I'm ugly and subhuman. Of course, they're not going to want to talk to you. Black pill vlog and remembering a fallen black pilled incel friend. Does that mean his friend had sex? It's not all about sex to me either. Something's being better than something. Vine legend! Thank you for giving this up to Avery. I love the black pill guys. Yeah. They comment. I was born and my life was over. The black pill is reality. Everything else is false. Then the love doll. That's that's my only hope. I haven't seen Oh no. I don't oh god. This guy's got some cursed content. Checking out international Tinder Tinder profiles, Japan and in Indonesia, black pill vlog. Checking out profiles in the dating app Bumble, and it's like just him swiping through women. That sucks. Oh, God. Nothing wrong with the doll if one can't get a real woman. The only problem is that you live at home with your folks, right? They will think that it is weird. And then he replies, well, they know I'm a black pill incel, so it can't get any worse. God. <laughs> Don't tell your parents you're black pill. Mom, Dad. Andrew. I'm coming out as black pilled. I'm a black pill incel. This guy's not even that old. Ugly incel versus Carolina Reaper corn nuts with Trinidad Scorpion ghost peppers and seven pot brain strain. Hello. Welcome to my video. Incel gets destroyed by pasta with chili extract and Carolina Reapers. Why is that all his videos? <laughs> I don't know. Oh god, a guy says, spend $2,000 and go to the Philippines. Jesus. Even though you are a two in America, you are a five or six in the Philippines. Oh, god. You are not a true insult. Ugh. And then his reply is, cheaper to spend $1,000 on high-tier escorts, TBH. I want to help him, dude. These guys, they love stewing and self-pity. That's my, what they want to do. My name's Steven, and I'm 31 like, uh, years old. Welcome to my channel. I practice green witchcraft. I'm a black-pilled, nihilist, truth-speaking, true cell. It's over for me and you, clown emoji. Oh my god, he's two days younger than me. Oh god. He also follows Laura on Twitter. <laughs> oh no. Ugly subhuman incel rants in public at JCPenney. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> He... Yeah, he follows like Bernie Sanders and a bunch of like porn actresses and then a bunch of MGTOW accounts and Black Pill accounts. God, I feel I, I want to help him, man. It doesn't have to be like this. First off, you got to start by having a positive attitude. He needs to be friends with like Sean Bolduck or something. 
And like Sean can boss him around and clean up his life and shit. Black pill ugly subhuman Shrek looking incel ranting. You don't look like Shrek. Got one of his latest tweets. He's quote tweeting a woman saying ban porn. And he says, fuckers wanting to ban everything that sub hug sub move that ugly subhuman virgins like myself love to cope with. Violent video games, porn, or anything fun. Please make rope free for us when you normie scum ban everything for ugly virgins. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Like, these guys are addicted to feeling bad for themselves. My worst nightmare is coming true now. Like, there are women like this. Like, Vince Kissinger has had sex at least twice. Brutality. And one. I started reading that quote tweet, like, just with the first bit about um, they want to, like, ban everything that ugly subhuman virgins like. I did not read through to the end about rope. That's, that's dark. Yeah. Outlaw is married. My question has been on here. Someone could. My number one question people like to ask me online is You think Outlaw is good looking? Could be for yourself right now. What's worse than I being You think he's a 10 out of 10? Yes. Yeah, I forgot about Robazoid. He's married with two kids. Yeah. Sure fucking incel sub And he is worse looking than you. The normal people out there. He's not walking like that. This guy looks like he grow a mean beard too. We're going to make him sexy. People hate us. We're, sub We're gonna get him on Jenny Jones. And he's gonna get a makeover. Normies don't like us. Uh, high tier, even little normie, like beyond, almost below normie, don't like us. That'd be <laughs> under five. <laughs> what? Don't go out in public. Don't go to parties. And what? What's the? I need to roll that back. One morning thing. Stay in public. Don't go out in public. You're not welcome. Normies don't like us. Uh, high tier, even little normies. Like, There's tiers of normies. Oh my God! Stop, <laughs> Grace. I think you're right about that too. That'd be pure subhuman. Stop making a spreadsheet about the different types of normies. If you're ugly, bald, lot fucker in the summertime, always wear your hat. As no one wants to see an ugly, bald subhuman. Wear your mask in your hand. Come on, man. You're gross. No one thinks about you like that. Yeah, no yeah like you're love. You're just a, you're just some guy. Do not go to a party if you're an ugly subhuman. Like the whole premise of us watching videos is we like watch stupid stuff and laugh at it. And here we are feeling bad wanting to help you, man. <laughs> If anyone in the yeah. world should be making fun of you, it's us. We're saying you have strong cheekbones and probably can grow a good beard. They hate me. They hate you. So. That's age restricted. God damn it. Yeah. He had one about the a male height chart. I wanted find... to see that with, because I'm sure he's like, well, I might as well I die because I'm five eight. If Montana B plays Tom, that's gonna be incredible. Yeah. It'll be groundbreaking. My mind is so blown right now. This is crazy. This world is crazy. So I just came back from the gym. And today at the gym, just it, it was awakening. What happened was today there, like I saw a lot of people who are- This is like uh this is like Varg's music. I mean, is he Swedish? Too. I don't know. There was there like there was like like a five girls there, who were like taller than me. I'm five eleven. Yeah, you're in Scandinavia. And I'm just like, we just like, we can't have same rules for everyone. You're complaining about being five like, eleven. Tall people, they have to have like, like different jobs, different work hours. Shut the fuck uh, up! Like because when I went and tried to work in construction, like after the first after comment day, says, most me. girls in 2021 are taller than six foot. This is the brutal black pill. <laughs> six foot is manly in 2020 like, for men simply because the competition the is too brutal. It's over. And in front of me, then he replies, yes. Girl. And like, and I was running and like, it's insane. They're yeah. in their own little world where like, and 
like chagrin. That's just not true. Oh, wait, this guy has two channels. His name is Dimitri. So maybe he's. I mean, she definitely grinned, but I think it's because she looked at me. It, it says on Twitter that his location is like San Francisco, though, so I don't know. Standpoint, she was taller than me, and I, and I was looking at her legs, like the way she walked. Like, the treadmill was almost like too small for her, like the wrench. Like, like I was like, God damn, like, like I can never run as fast as her or like walk as fast as her and she like, yeah his, his hashtags are in like cyrillic like as a track you don't have to run as fast as her she's green she grinned who said you had to do that like, this is crazy bro. he's in belgorod in russia serbian. like those the people like the that's serbian people, they know they know or is they it laugh at us. is there a they different one us, the short i mean yeah Belgorod Oblast, Russia, located in the oh, it is right. Seversky yeah. Donets River, 40 kilometers like, north of the Ukraine border. And there was this other girl, like, who's short. Oh, God. She was His... a personal trainer for, uh, for another tall girl. What? But, like... His most recent video is but, like, eating raw girl. chicken. Yeah, look at the queue. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I got a couple like, from him. Ah. Uh, these guys well, heard they were normal. i can't believe like, he's blackpilled like, because he's 511 <laughs> and he but, thinks like, all women are feet. over six feet like, now her muscles there was like mine i think he's only looking at like giantess porn was like 18. well no he went to the gym like 18 and so tall. The, there was there was, was four like, holy shit like and then i'm and then i was like thinking damn man like, there's like four or five girls over six foot it's like bro it's it would be funny if he was just seeing like a five-four woman on the stairmaster. I thought her legs went all the way down to the floor. When there was like when I was in ninth grade, tenth grade, and everybody was like getting taller, like I could not get taller because I was starving. Like I didn't grow. You're five eleven. No, it's because of that. <laughs> because my father is like uh, six two. He was. How are you complaining about this? Yeah, like this is coming from the guy who's five foot nothing. But when I was growing up, it was like this. Yeah, like, <laughs> and like I went to school like, and for lunch I had less than other kids at school, because I was like eating on these dotations from the government, like for people only with one single. Parent. What's this song now? It went from like dark and, like, dungeon <laughs> synth to like. My mom's excuse was like. We're on island time now. It's like, I'm hungry. No, like, you kids, you should not stretch your stomachs. Like, you're gonna get fat. And I was like, like, anorexic with bones. So, like, miraculously, I survived. Like, I made it to 35. Like, I'm 35. It's a miracle. I survived <laughs> somehow. The anorexia... I don't like that he's only... F Man, is this what lies ahead for us? ...protective services in Russia. I, gotta, I just gotta keep moisturizing, working out. Is he 35? Yeah. I assume he was a little older than that. Me too. Well, he does eat raw meat, so. Okay, so. Oh, he has another. Ch yeah, I'm on the second channel now. No fat. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and semen retention. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm so fucking like unlucky. And you know, like, yeah, with He also has videos claiming to be homeless like, and videos claiming that he's a billionaire. Before I was born, I chose to like to learn, like, to learn this. Like, really? Like to learn anorexia? I chose this. Oh come on, hair growth on no fap. He has a cooking video like a week after he says he's homeless in a kitchen. So yeah. I think he's doing Probably clickbait. clickbait. The people I saw at the gym today, like, they're running the show, they're running the so like god no fap it's like all right so even girls it's insane to think about this stuff stronger than me <laughs> like guys like the 18 year old <sighs> tall girl like can probably like wrestle me like and win like wrestle with me and fucking win so i have to work more on my personality and like try to get with the i mean if he's a troll it's very elaborate because he has like a 70 part series a daily vlog about no fat that's with girls now the dudes 
So imagine if genetically superior girls are It's so insane to be that neurotic about like, this stuff. Yeah. Like, and the internet encourages it, so they're obsessed with like <laughs> height, they're like, running in my locker, like uh, my locker is right there every person they see they've got their mind palace going locker. for like the angle of their chin. That's that fucker was strong. Like fuck. They think everyone's making these calculations all day long. Like taller than girls than so like about like the uh the pitch of someone's voice. And he fucking had huge muscles. Bro. So he's got a Patreon. What the fuck? Just interact normally. I mean, even, Just even talk the, to I went people. On a date with the girl and like she was taller than me. He's got a Patreon Russia, that has one dollar. I went on a date with a girl and she was taller than me and I married her. Yeah. <laughs> It worked. Health, wealth, and prosperity are priorities. I want to inspire others with my creations. Think and grow rich. I want to share my wisdom and knowledge with the world. Also, it is my spiritual journey and fight for independence, freedom, and survival. So every time you post a picture, it charges you a dollar, but also all the pictures are there for free. And, and one of the paintings... Bro, okay, thank you for the raid. I'll be a good stream. Like, We're watching some vids. Like this word is or frogan? It's all strong. I guess I could just show you. I'm hosting. Because their body, they are. We could look at the YouTube award that he made like, himself. Work longer hours or whatever. <laughs> you can't compete with them. Society have to have different rules. Million subscribers. Wow. Uh, types of people, bro. Like different job schedule, different. I guess jobs. on this account he has the fair. subs hidden, so. Like Maybe he does have a thousand subscribers. And I'm short Both of them he has this, uh, the the subs hidden. Like, how how is he gonna make it? Like how is he gonna make it? Okay, can't like, disprove it. To the gym, but, yeah. like, how is he gonna make it? All right, let's get to the real shit. Doing a little raw meat experiment. Eating. I got some raw chicken breast here, and I'm eating it with some salt and hot sauce. So we'll see. How I am going to feel. What's wrong? This. Bon appetit. Probably bad. Oh. This is why you can't get pussy. <laughs> no, it's because he's black filled. Tastes good. <laughs> yeah, exactly, sicko. Women don't want me to date me because of my height, and then he eats raw chicken. <laughs> It's probably the height. It's only he's only five eleven. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, friends. I hope this is good. My name is Dimitri Cash. Oh, I hope this is good. I will perform for you, Eagle Eye Cherry. Safe tonight. I hope he learned this in like nineteen ninety nine, to try to get pussy, and it didn't work. You learn this in Wonderwall. You and me and a bottle of wine to hold you tonight. For all we know, I'm going away. And how I wish, I wish it weren't so. Maybe uh, an acoustic version of Butterfly by Crazy Town. I love to look over and, uh,. See chat doing the fucking jammies and the, the the cat jams as I'm as I'm feeling it, you know. Let's get some cat jams going, guys. We should put the emo wall up. I I feel it clogs the screen too much. I like having the just the chat up there better. So you can see like all the hype of chat when like things come in really quick. New Tain yeah. Celery Man, thank you. The 16 men raid. We're on our bullshit. We're watching black pill videos. Oh man, his URL is Tyler Durden 9910. <laughs> Dumbass. 
This is that guy that women are always talking about. <laughs> the guy you saw Fight Club and thought it was about cool guys who have fun. <laughs> Watch a different movie. If you go to a guy's house and he has a Fight Club poster, do not fuck him. He will be this guy. We got Alex dancing away on the screen too. Oh, this is a motherfucking mood. Jamming. Metallica, nothing else matters. <laughs> <laughs> what a good guy. <laughs> High frequency creator. Oh, he doesn't have a playlist of his songs. Yeah, but he, he had a bunch uploaded in a, a row, though. Fleetwood Mac, Go Your Own Way. Real. That's kind of an incel song. Hello, MVP here. From Kelly Lucas Clarkson, Breakaway. I am a 31-year-old... Kissless virgin, uh, no thanks. woman ever was interested in me. I just wanted to show you what the joke this world is. The only one chat, it's over. Does he have a New York accent? Long live Israel. <laughs> Hello, MVP here. I wanted to share some black pills with you guys. It's over. It's completely finished if you're an intro, I wanted to click his more average, of his videos but one of them is just titled the n-word so making money is impossible it's I don't think we should deep dive day. too much the world will collapse soon everyone hates each other he's got like a deep Staten Island we'll accent get worse. God help us God help us World War 3 is coming I don't know. That's European, right? With like some sort of list. Morning, afternoon, and evening. I don't know what it is. I'm in retention, hard mode, day 35. And in this video, I want to share with you my discovery about connection with alcohol. How semen retention affects. <laughs> Making money is impossible. 31 year old virgin. My testosterone, my testosterone level is extremely low. I never get approached by girls. Long live Israel. The N-word. Send me money. Uh, at least he, he doesn't use the hard R, at least. Take, like, 1% of the time you spend making videos complaining about this shit and going on incel forums, commiserating, and, like, I don't know. Do anything else. I had one three weeks ago, then I had like half of this Join one the DSA. two weeks <laughs> yeah. ago. Yeah. And try to talk and to the women there. I stopped. I didn't like to drink it. I didn't want to finish this beer. So I'm just gonna like water my plants with it or whatever. So that's the connection. When you're not semen retention, if you're an alcoholic and you want to stop drinking, you need to get on semen retention. Another thing. Because this is what's going on, I think. Because when you're fat, does that mean semen is alcohol? After you're fat, you feel depressed. So to bring your mood up, you want to have a drink, have an alcohol, because you feel so depressed after fapping. So that's I think think. what's mm -hmm. going on. That's what's going on. Fapping makes you also an alcoholic. Or for some people, it's drugs, drug addiction. But alcohol makes your you dick fat, not work. You go low, your mood goes low, so you want to stay up. If you're a severe you alcoholic, you're not you going to be able to bust, or really. Buy a beer or drink alcohol. I did not know that. But with semen retention, I mean, workout, if you're like an older guy and you've been drinking amazing. your whole life, like. Just because yeah, I'm energy. sure a lot so of things are fucked. You, those guys I are don't retaining. I don't want to drink no more. I'm completely So why doesn't it make them want to stop drinking? It. Doesn't right. make sense. Also, my muscles are growing. You guys, hear this? You see about this? Like crazy. Now I feel my muscles. I feel them getting bigger and they're growing like while I sleep. And I don't like, I just don't work out that much. I do a little bit of heavy just lifting. Just work out more, man. And then I just feel my muscles grow. 
Well, he's saying he's but the main point he's is gaining just from no retention. Similar retention helps you quit drinking alcohol. Peace. I hate my voice. I didn't choose it. I don't know what can I do to improve it. Maybe hop on TRT and then it might get better or deeper. I don't know, I just hate my voice. This goes out to the, the world. I don't I don't know who's watching, if anybody is at all. Hold on. Uh, oh my God. Uh, holy uh, shit. Uh, see, it's a moment like that. I... I'm not sure if this person's doing a bit or not, but on their channel, they have a couple of videos where they're in an interview with a guy called Todd Thundercock. And I Googled it because it seemed like a pretty big, you know, authority and there's something called incel wiki and uh he's on the incel wiki todd thundercock who formerly identified publicly as grotesque subhuman is an on again off again vlogger with origins on lookism.net grotesquely is most incels are vol cells and have been complaining less about dating since getting in shape settling Physical expectations of women and finding a friend with benefits. Huh. Wish I had friends, you know. Lookism.com. Good afternoon and evening. As you can see, six ninety five, not bad. By making the environment more presentable. Oh, look, there's his, his subscriber count on the wall. Let me share with you. I bought a fuzzy hat. Perfect Ugly black filled subhuman incel gives his updated copes for 2021. Yesterday, I manifested a few. Man, things. people. <sighs> One of them is a sauna girl. I've met a girl in a sauna, and I will tell you exactly. <laughs> people who are 30 or older saying cope and black pill. It sucks. <laughs> it's just, like, stop. Talk like a grown man. Stop talking like you're 15. <laughs> Women don't like that. That I go there and I signed up for that particular gym is because they have. This is such a weird. It's like females dress. Weird. Separate and males dress. Hold to go down. It's like never ending. In the middle, there's this sauna, and it has two doors. Where is? The black pill is science, bro. How face in all caps and LMS all caps. Okay, those must be channels. And Inkwell TV make erroneous fallacies to mislead you. Oh yeah, this look cool. The general shape and proportion of a man's skull is rarely discussed. He has one of the most profound effects on initial impressions of him. Alpha males, aka hunters, tend to have warrior skulls, while beta males, prey, tend to have wimp skulls. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. The alpha shit. beta thing is based on a fraudulent study of wolves. Nick Poulos is a textbook example of a man with a warrior skull. Look at that. Initial impressions of him would be masculine, dominant, strong, and intimidating. On the other hand, men like Gilbert Gottfried and Michael Sarah have textbook wimp skulls. <laughs> On a screenshot of that. I bet I bet Michael Sarah gets plenty of pussy. Oh yeah. Off of Juno, for sure. Initial impressions of him would be effeminate, submissive, weak, pushover. Let's dive a little deeper and compare the two skull shapes to uncover their differences. Flat and short, occipital bone, round and long occipital bone. Thick and strong neck, thin and fragile neck. How do you, how do you think the neck gets thicker, dog? Yeah, you're not born with a yeah. neck thickness. You, it gets big from you doing like a lot of weight bearing. Yeah, that's what I, you're right, Annie Toy. 
Large and dominant neurocranium is an infertile feature characteristic of babies and young children. Masculine men Childish. have large faces in proportion to the upper part of their skull. That's why everyone thinks Felix is so hot. What's the word for that? What? Things have more juvenile characteristics. N neoteny. That's what it is. That's good. That's a good thing. That's Wait. why dogs don't act like wolves. Watch as his skull's morphed into a wimp skull. That's why we don't look like gorillas. We would be, like, fucked up looking. I hope I don't have fucking too bad of a wimp skull. <laughs> you kind of made him look like Adam Friedland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be cursed. He's in Big Buck Bunny. What? This intro. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, no, this is old as hell. I heard the GameCube startup noise and I thought it was a sub noise. <laughs> Me too, man. I got a phrase. That's what I associate it with now. I live reassociating those sounds with, with us. Like the AIM sounds and shit. Yeah. You hear that, it's like, oh, it's from that the Chopo FYM stream. <laughs> I'm back, bitches. Did you miss me? Why is the caller half pop? Oh, let's see what games I have to play. Okay, what it just switched aspect ratios. Today? Super Smash Brothers beat it. <laughs> I've been all kinds of games. I've been Zelda. I don't know, Hot Couch. Mario Odyssey, all kinds You'd of think. Games. What game should I play right now? Who the fuck is that? I need. Okay, it switched aspect ratios again. And I get what I take on a soul. Ah! I take souls. Why? What did I ever do? Wrong! You said you'd give your soul to get out of work. <laughs> what are these so cuts, bro? And if I win, I'm gonna take your soul. What do you want to play for? If I win, I get your kingdom. It's mine. He got hair plugs off of all of his YouTube money. I, win, I will take your soul. Yeah, it is weird. I guess he just figured out how to comb it a certain way. Because this was years ago, and it looks like he has more hair now yeah. than he did then. I guess this was two years ago. Outlaw, play as Outlaw! Okay, I'm gonna select the Lamborghini. That is mine. Who are you gonna select? Gotta have that light pointing right at the camera. <laughs> Why does he? Why does he always have the fucking light in the shot? That's not what it's there for. Yeah, that it's needs to, to be light confiscated you. from him because it's always not where it should be. Unintelligible empanada truck. Oh shit! Why do you want to select sweet tooth, bitch? Because I like candy. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got candy? Come on, you're from hell. And I got candy. That's gotta be Montana B, that's right? Sweet tooth. Now let's play. Yeah, I would... I would oh. think so. It's not Nick. Maybe we have some new people in chat asking about the voice. You're going so this is a... What he thinks is a Rhode Island accent. Because he thinks this is what Stewie sounds like. So I got my Lamborghini, bitch. You're gonna play chicken, chicken shit. How dare you say call me a chicken shit? How very disrespectful of you. How dare you come back in your stupid Lamborghini? Why? My Lamborghini is better than your Man, piece of shit. Man, I haven't actually seen gameplay so from this, like, I mean, since it was current. I remember thinking this was just like the most state-of-the-art, baddest-ass graphics in the world. Do you want some candy? 
looks so real. How don't you dare call me that? I'm a grown man that plays video games. I'm the best in the world what I do. It looks <laughs> real bad. Very weird angle too. Maybe it's just when it's split screen, but it's like between first and third person. Come on, yeah. You're a hairy asshole. Yeah, it's like if you. And your sweet tooth a piece of shit. Uh, this is technically dead. third person, you but... How dare you say you're better than you? Oh, I almost got you! You're gonna die! You're it's gonna also die. so loud in the mix. Come on. Come on, I'm shooting you. <laughs> like, you can't hear what Outlaw... I mean, sorry, James and a Trident. So I beat you. Come on, my Lamborghini's the best. I'm shooting you, bitch. You're gonna lose again. Come on. <laughs> no one... Oh, <laughs> Holy shit, I want to run that back. To, to just listen to that segment of audio. Boss, bitch. One for me. <laughs> so I beat you. Come on, my Lamborghini's the best. I'm shooting you, bitch. You're gonna lose again. Come on. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Come on. I'm about to beat you. Come on. What is that? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> God, he's so dumb. I'm gonna take your <laughs> no, is there anything else you want? I mean, I have other valuable stuff. What do I gotta do? I want that moon sign over there. That's Why is the devil in a Seahawks t-shirt? He lives in Seattle. Oh, fine. Here, take it. Fuck. <laughs> yes, I got the moon sign of James. Wait. Oh, look at that one. What does that say? I don't know. Look at Outlaw in the back. <laughs> <laughs> moon? Moon? I think he says Moonshine. Oh. You have my moonshine, you son of a bitch. Yes, I do. You're gonna give it back, or we're gonna have to fight for it. If I'm gonna give you it back, let's fight for it. Okay, let's fight. Ugh. 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 Mercy on mercy, bitch. I'm gonna pull you to hell. Die. Probably a gag gift. <laughs> I gotta, we gotta run that back. This is such an insane fight it's sequence. Like, uh, 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 like Ella thinks this looks so sick. I'm gonna pull you to hell. Die. Oh, I'm gonna take you to hell. No. Last minute. Boom. He's basing it off the oh, angry video this? game nerd fight scenes, which yeah. are the worst part of that <laughs> channel. Absolutely. And even then, it was incredibly embarrassing. This is it's, it's crazy that, like, to have his 30 year old friend in, like, a Spider Man costume doing fake punching <laughs> noises and stuff. Like, <laughs> and he looked at that and was like, this is great. It's just like, I gotta, I gotta get my friends to do this with me. It's amazing that he, like, he saw Angry Video Game Nerd and then wanted to do something similar. And this is what comes out as his approximation. Like, this is how competent he is. Yeah, he doesn't talk about the games at all, which was the only... That was the only good thing about Angry Video yeah. Game. It was, like, his analysis of the games and, like, the mechanics of Yeah, them. and, like, learning about these systems that you wouldn't have otherwise known existed, blah, blah, blah. Like, who, who made it? Mm-hmm the development history, but he doesn't yeah, that stuff's even cool. say any of it. How's it going, 13 Alex? years ago. This review? Consider subscribing to my channel. Ah, boom! My channel has great food content. And I upload on <laughs> God damn it, soldier. <laughs>
And I'll tell you this, guys. I had a weird dream that Tom said he would sponsor me and I'd have to sell out and let him have the Outlaw brand. And I'd have to suck his dick. <laughs> what a disgusting dream. You know, Tom, I would never do that in real life. I'll keep doing my stuff. I'll have to do the hard things in the future. I would never do that. I would never do that. But I'll tell you this, guys. I had a weird dream that... Tom said he would sponsor me. I'd have to sell out and let him own the outlaw brand and I'd have to suck his dick. It was a disgusting dream. No, Tom, I would never do that in real life. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. Let's I'd let him hold the outlaw brand, brand and I'd have What's to up, suck outlaws? his dick. What a well, disgusting dream. <laughs> well, I tell you guys, guys. Wait, what was the threat against him to not do that? <laughs> How's it going, outlaws? I'd have to sell out and let him hold outlaws. the outlaw Five bread, and I'd have to suck his Here dick. <laughs> finally, finally came out. I've been waiting for this for like, what would him sponsoring him McDonald's look like? McRib. Like, giving yeah, him like, a shout out on Twitter? Does, does Tom just buy a majority percentage? <laughs> And then also with that percentage, Outlaw has to suck his dick. <laughs> like, Seems like a raw deal for Outlaw. Yeah. I wouldn't take that deal. Yeah, Avery's in, uh, in Washington. So it's outside of Seattle, I think. Fun right here. There's some sesame seeds in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> There's you know, I'm glad that Tom bought a majority stake in my business, right but it there, sucks right at the there. dividend as I have to suck his dick. Onions. Looks like sweet potatoes. McRib. Try. <laughs> what would Outlaw selling out be? Like, literally all he wants to do with this channel is to sell out. Like, get free food from places. Here we go. Like, how would you cheapen the Outlaw brand? Like, what would he possibly have to do to be considered a sellout? They would have to use the Outlaw intro song in a commercial. Oh, wow. Can that beef? There's a Ford commercial. <laughs> Deadly Outlaw reviewing food. You'd have to start making, like, mall goth music, like Dimmu or Cradle of Filth or Metallica. Outlaws. If you eat it upside down like this, you get the crunchy um, onions, and then you eat a plan like this, you just get the... Um, Wait a minute. <laughs> If you eat it, if you eat it upside down, I mean, it's because the music's so fucking loud, I can turn it up. Um, yeah, let's just play that back again. Oh, wow. Isn't that beef? That rib patty right, right there is very sweet. That beef. <laughs> Here's the thing, outlaws. If you eat it upside down like this, you get the crunchy um onions, and then you eat a plain like this, you just get the um you get the um the rib patty. The rib Can you make any sense of that? So if you eat it upside down like this. You get the pickles and onions, and then if you eat it plain, which is right side up, you don't get the onions and pickles that are right underneath it? Oh, man. It doesn't matter. It's all going in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would get it maybe if it was a wrap that was really thick, and then you might have some ingredients in one bite, but not in the other. It's tender. Like, if you're eating a really big taco or something. Like I said, tender. The bread is soft. And what is witchcraft when the McRib <laughs> goes upside down? <laughs> Bottoms up and the but devil laughs. Out of the ballpark outlaws, it... Good morning. So this video is going to be real quick. I just want to share you <laughs> the very important step to a better eye area. Simply look that. You squint, kind of, your own primals. 
<laughs> I really and want Michael to see this. Just then, um, look at. So I know what he'd say about his face and what type of guy he would be. It'd be very funny. Them. And just kind of, you can make uh, like fast sets, or you can constantly squint them, which I like to do. I don't know if you can see it that well, but he does look. This German. is when my eyes are kind of squinted, and this is when they are not. I'm trying. You to... can see that when they are squinted, they are way more focused, look a bit more ah. hunterish. I'm going to say Danish. And it can also happen that you see sharper when you squint your eyes. This is actually one of the reasons why. Oh, no, he's Swiss. Often, um, <laughs> squintish eyes because they really need to see really far in the distance. Sometimes need to see at their victim and then squint their eyes to victim. <laughs> yeah. intensely. So you can also just uh, walk around in day-to-day -day life with kind of semi squinted eyes where you just have have them not you just gotta smoke a ton of pot kind of dude no contraction this means you just walk around okay how is he more like a native german speaker and he pronounces it wickdom and you'll know because in german all of the w's are v's will also change from kind of walking around yeah, i don't know with more squinted squinted eyes will be less in your head will be less looking right and left what happens all Is around you switch german focused wait 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 goal, dude listen to this shit with more squinted squinted eyes will be less in your head you will be less looking right and left what happens all around you you will be more focused on your goal on what you are trying to achieve and you will <laughs> if you squint more you won't have as much shot, peripheral vision so you can focus on your goals and that makes so, no sense for uh Girls or that would only make sense if your eyes closed uh, the vertically like a lizard. Because, <laughs> yeah, usually girls and women, they are really... <laughs> and sure that's nail on the head, brother. When they are feminine and they look yeah. around what happens in their environment, they are not as straight goal-oriented as hunters are. That's why I can kind of only suggest this for boys and men. Either squint your eyes permanently sometimes then um, sometimes you can do like these just show this guy to the first black pill guy that we were talking about the the, the ugly guy that's never going to score or whatever intense contractions and, and then maybe you could use some of his advice more, more in daily life just walk around with same squinted eyes be more focused in general if you are more focused in general you will notice that automatically you will have more squinted eyes <laughs> and focus is a Jesus. sign of high testosterone. Therefore, all this stuff is correlated again. Therefore, um, it's way easier to look max if you also max testosterone, if you max your kind of uh, mindset, your the way you approach life. If you manage to all kind of um, put this in a more hunterish, more masculine direction, then you will also have a way easier time to look smacks. And yes, this is just a, to look smacks. One of the biggest reasons why some people have a really hard time to look smacks because their life is not aligned with so if you squint, look smacks. It makes you better so look. I hope this video is helpful. Yeah. And I'm trying it, but I keep scrunching my face up. Have a good day, guys. Indigenous Swiss. How are you going to be an adult male and be saying looks max to be like, become better looking? Anyways. Today, it's Stop time talking to about pills. Like, this is a good looking guy. Why, why are you, you on the internet? Person? You want to know how he gets good looking? Focused. I think I almost exclusively exclusively smashed the nose this month. Now recently I started smashing more again, but for most of April I focused on the nose. I did also other stuff than bone smashing to 
Uh, what's he do kind of um he's doing bone smashing of my nose. he's hitting himself with a hammer yeah to make his nose look better update video that will come on may 1st but today let's focus on smashing the nose somebody in the comments made me even uh, even gave, gave me this idea to bone smash the nose because he said if you smash the nasal bone it will look more masculine because oh. yeah, look <laughs> the nasal bone is usually only the upper part of the nose and this uh, part down is only soft tissue so if you bone smash the nose you will notice that the upper part will be pro will grow in proportion to the lower part especially and this will can give you a straighter nose in my case it did in my case this was one of the yeah it looks great bone smashing the nose and just the uh, Paying more attention to the nose was the most important. That looks bad. I could do. <laughs> Doesn't look like you got a big fucking scab there. I I definitely lacked this a lot, and I'm still not perfectly happy. I will still improve it a little <laughs> Man. bit. Man, you can, like I said, only you can smash get the upper part. like you can smash from the side. You can get surgery. You can get like broader. bone shaved Usually, off surgically. People in people today prefer slim noses. The thing is. It still is a good idea to smash the nose also from the side because, like I said, it's only the upper part. And if your upper part gets a little bit uh, I'm broader, looking it up and it doesn't it do anything. That your whole nose it's completely made up. Because your uh, lower oh, no, look part at doesn't look as, um, as broad when your upper part, part is a bit broader. This is what they want you to think. They want to keep the beta males down. A bit broader than when it's like someone... super thin. This is forbidden knowledge. Yes, so you can smash from the side. This is what we will do a little bit. Just Someone managed to trick a bunch and of these then guys. And you can also smash naturally with a hammer. Front, yeah. Just <laughs> By telling them it'll make them hot. If you already have yep. a nose with such a move, maybe That's a good bit. don't yeah. smash uh, the nose. Or maybe, yeah, I, I mean, look, for me personally, because I had such a feminine uh, nose which made the curve for me this was perfect but for people who already have kind of this other shape of the nose yeah these don't guys are so bone stupid smash the nose, <laughs> yeah dude do other things but let's keep this video about smashing now if you smash this um yeah it the nose will also look just a bit stronger and a bit more like you already were in a few fights and got hit and just uh, this makes a more masculine impression in general and if you have a really prominent brow ridge, it can be necessary to bone smash the nose because otherwise you will have a huge gap between your nose and the and the forehead, and this can look mm. a bit uh, too too uh, unharmonic, like it did in my case. So first of all, we're gonna use the fist and afterwards the hammer because. This time we're gonna use the the small side of the hammer because the gap is predestined for this stuff. So let's get started. How are you this dumb? <laughs> Mocha powder in uh, in sea salt. I think uh, he's smart. Salt water. <laughs> salt water. Hmm. Yeah. Really oh, good. you moron. <laughs> that also makes you hotter. First of all, we're gonna smash just straight the frontal part of the nose. <laughs> then we're gonna do the sides. And lastly, we're gonna use the hammer to really target the gap. Let's get started. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Whatever it takes. This is one of the dumbest guys I've ever seen. The Natty King, baby.
I'm gonna speed it up a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna punch myself in the face for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible mind, dude. Yeah, reopening the scab is how you know it's working. intentionally giving himself an underbite too. Higher intensity and low volume, yeah, higher low intensity, volume, high intensity smashing so of your I fucking need less time. Uh, um, yeah, in this video, I also want to do a, a long set. I will just show you how to do it, and you can then decide yourself how much volume. Yeah, Rudebeg, I guess so. I didn't really think of it in those terms, but you're probably right. This morphia and self harm. The nose. I mean, yeah, just. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to see that. That. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't hit it hard. Yeah. Don't smash the chin. He's just like tapping it. I scroll through before. it. This will serve you as a blueprint. Which you. Oh, this better not be flagged. Oh. Oh yeah. Catch it was. Yo, I already said in the video last yesterday that I'm kind of almost dead right now. And today's a little better, but uh, yeah, I'm still not fully recovered. And yeah, there are obviously one reason is because I just basically... See the designs. Thank you for the 11 months. And I didn't do anything else. And uh, yeah, so stupid. is as well that I bone smashed. Now, I really bone smashed for like more than 30 or, to be honest, I think I bone smashed now for more than two months every day. And yeah, bone smashing is actually draining. There no wonder, man. potential dangers to bone smashing. And in this video, I will tell them what these dangers are. And that maybe you should not to do to <laughs> Jesus to soup shoes BB voice bone, bone crush the first <laughs> hello everybody today I'm going to be doing another bone crush video you constantly hit your bones and you basically reduce your bone mass by um, yeah you damage your bones this means little micro micro you you destroy your uh, bones on a micro basis this means you lose a little bit of bone mass and you constantly need to replace this and replace it even on top because your body will build a little bit more bone with uh, yeah with bone building materials this means minerals yeah i wonder if that's right on even pizza do you think he gave himself like a concussion from all that repeated how many people do this all the minerals all that, that repeated head trauma required to build bone and if you do not get the proper vitamins to metabolize these minerals you will basically, yeah, suffer because your body needs to take these minerals from somewhere and it potentially takes it from other parts of your bones. So maybe you're gonna feel pain in other parts of your bones. Or you All right. get, uh, another problem is that these bone building materials like calcium, for example. Never mind. This is the thing that like four guys on Reddit do. And Andrew said, I'm stupid. 
if you basically lose alkaline minerals all the time, you get really acidic. This guy's making and it up as he goes just along. Needs to be balanced by taking. Yo, Carlos Danger, thank you for gifting that sub to Sneezes. And yeah, basically this is it. Sneezes, grats. Then second danger is bone smashing is draining, um, especially if you do it like hardcore. If you really smash hard, like uh, like you're in a box fight all the time. Oh, uh, box the, fights. Will, it will Purple pump, blue AR, slurp fish. And yeah, the more you train, minis, the 200 the builds, ain't nothing like it. Overtraining, obviously. Overtraining, and Jesus. Yeah, it just can be that you're even more tired, especially when you also do normal workouts in the gym or at home. Then yeah, the, he, yeah, he looks normal. Just adds up on this and you will be more fatigued. It just requires a lot of energy. Here, how about this? Oh, I didn't check to see if this was DMC8 or not. Black Pill Comics. He drew nope. those himself. We're good. It's not flag. That's so pathetic. Drawing, like he's doing little child pictures of his favorite sexist memes. <laughs> About how women only like guys if they have a certain style of cheekbone. Mm hmm. This is uh, Gills. Jesus. These guys are such pussies. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? They're on the computer all day, <laughs> pouting. <laughs> oh, I can't get pussy because my neck's too small. High aesthetic gay alien Aspie MM versus the high appeal stereotypical Chalk Chad. What does Mogs mean? <laughs> it's Nick and Stav. <laughs> It's Caleb and Patrick. <laughs> Beta Bucks Wagey, Alpha Fucks Chad. Well, maybe these guys need to bone smash more. Yeah. They need to hit themselves in the face with a hammer. Oh, man. Not a gamer word on that one. Lenji, <laughs> you like do about a sketch a day, right? When you, you got free time? This is this is body of work. You should draw stuff like that. Men's rights news. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching tonight. That was a fun stream. I gotta go. Gotta go. Do some bone crushing. To make myself more hot. But, uh, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. Yeah. Mwah. Love you too. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye.